Hi. Yeah, yeah. So you have started the recording. Yeah. So again, yeah, welcome uh, to the monthly meeting of UN uh, Smart Maps uh, group. So today we have Kazu uh, to introduce uh, Bacho Shizuoka. But before that, maybe we can have some time to introduce ourselves. I see uh, Mr. Uh, Naoya Shimizu and uh, Shibashi san, uh, would you like to introduce yourself uh, so that we can get to know each other? Can you speak or? Uh, okay, uh, Kazu Sato san, do you know uh, they are from uh, your prefecture or? Uh, I guess uh, the kanji, 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 Ryota Ishibashi is the uh, mm -hmm. our uh, prefecture officer and uh, the division of compiling the project mm -hmm. Shizuoka is at uh, this meeting, I heard. So yeah, thank you so much for introduction. Welcome, uh, Ishibashi. Okay, so I see uh, Taichi also uh, coming to the meetup. Okay, okay. So... Do you have any other announcement uh, you can uh, introduce before the presentation by Kaz? Oh, uh, Koji-san. Okay. Ah. Mm -hmm. ah, okay. Yes, well, Koji, is it the first time for you to come to this monthly meeting? Maybe? Yeah. Yes. Uh, yeah, yeah, please. Okay, yeah. Yes, please introduce yourself. Okay, thank you. Um, okay. Uh, hello, everyone. My name is Koji Osumi. Um, I work for a common admission of Japan to the United Nations. Mm -hmm. And so I live in New York State in the US now. But um, my original agency is Geospatial Information Authority of Japan. Yeah, it's the same as um, Mr. Chimbats. So yeah, I'm I'm uh, I'm glad to be here. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, thank you very much uh, for coming to the meetup. So, as so, this so to, yeah, do you have any other things you can do? Uh, maybe Taichi, is this the first time for you to come to this monthly meetup, or have, have you been here? Okay. Hi, thank you. Uh, <laughs> I have to go to quite earlier. So my name is Taichi, and uh, I work with uh, Aoyama Gakuin University. And uh, in this uh, Smart Maps uh, working group, so I'm, uh, I'm a contributor of the UNBT portable uh, based on the Raspberry Pi. So yeah, nice to meet you, everyone. Thank you. OK. Thank you so much. OK. Yep. I'd like to introduce uh, today's program. So we have the presentation about Pacha Shizuoka by Kazuya. And after that, I can discuss uh, how we can best uh, facilitate this monthly meetup. And after that, maybe we can introduce our upcoming events. So that is today's agenda. So I would like to move on to introducing today's uh, speaker, Kazuya. So he is now working for the Prefecture government of Shizuoka Prefecture. And he's originally a physical geographer. And uh, yes, uh, yeah, maybe. Yes, he's uh, working for yes, the government. And he's now working in the oh, disaster. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I, I think he is responsible for the disaster response of the prefecture. But before that, he was working uh, for transportation and also. Uh, basic uh, economic issues, uh, economic research issue. Uh, sorry for my uh, introduction, but uh, today I would like to uh, ask uh, Kazuya to introduce uh, Bachel Shizuoka. So, Kazuya, Shizu uh, sorry, floor is yours, and would you like to uh, share your slides? Uh, yeah, please. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 
I now see your screen and yes, please uh, go ahead, please. Yes, thank you. Okay. Okay, so hi, I'm Kazato, and uh, today I would like to introduce the virtual Shizuoka, which Shizuoka Prefecture compiled and um, point cloud data and uh, its use case. Uh, now, uh, uh, first of all, uh, uh, I would like to introduce myself. Uh, I'm Kazusato again, uh, a local prefecture government officer of Shizuoka Prefecture located in the center of, of Japan. Current division is emergency management. So once disaster occurs, I have to go emergency operation center. Uh, Oh, I forgot the animation. Yeah. And uh, my origin is Hokkaido, the northern part of Japan. My major was physical geography, research tsunami risk between human development and geomorphology, and also took the program of oceanography in the graduate school at that time. I was also a scientist intern at UNESCO International Tsunami Information Center located in Hawaii and joined tsunami evacuation map and preparedness project. These two uh, experiences were a great opportunity using geospatial information. So after becoming Shizuoka Prefecture Government Officer, I participated in some projects uh, related with geospatial information as just the person to help. Okay, uh, before talking point cloud data, uh, uh, let's speak about Shizuoka Prefecture. Shizuoka Prefecture is located in the central part of Japan. Uh, the population is around a million. Uh, if you go to Kyoto from Tokyo with bird train, it will take one uh, half hours, uh, and uh, there are nine stations Euro train passed before stopping Nagoya station. But uh, seven of nine stations that Euro train doesn't stop uh, is in Shizuoka. So if you feel boring and tired, welcome. It's Shizuoka Prefecture. Well. Uh, we now uh, we uh, take one by one side point crowd data in whole prefecture. This is virtual Shizuoka prefect virtual Shizuoka project. Okay. Uh, the initial purpose to compile the point crowd data is uh, came from the program of Japan Society. Uh, especially the uh, aging is a big problem in uh, construction field. Aging of the construction uh, industry is higher than that of Japan average. Improving uh, productivity is uh, required to make work environment more comfortable and against the shortage of human resources. So, in this region, Japanese Ministry of Infrastructure, Landscape, and Transportation proposed so-called eye construction, uh, which try to improve productivity by using information and communication technology. For example, a uh, total station needs at least two uh, people in previous way, but if sensor is equipped on the uh, bucket, we can take level data without any additional person. This is a process both data uh, previous and high construction. Uh, uh, if high construction is installed, uh, these four uh, process shown with orange was not required anymore. In addition, uh, both process need uh, current land data to calculate measurement at first. So uh, you might say it is enough by using aerial photographs, but the shape of the ground surface, uh, which cannot be obtained from aerial photographs, can be uh, acquired with point cloud data. Uh, this is the reason why we compiled and provide high quality land data as open data. 
Okay, uh, in virtual Shizuoka project, we took point cloud with ra uh, radar scanner. It contains location coordinate and RGB color. It took from aerial vehicle and even field level such as drone. drone. This video is show, uh, showing a world cultural heritage in Nirayama laboratory finance. Uh, this is uh, this video is combined area data and uh, writer data took from drone. Oh, right, is this uh, is a uh, took from drone there. Okay, next. Uh, this, uh, there are three types of way to take the data in virtual Shizuoka. Uh, first is uh, ALB, oh sorry, LP, and the second is ALB, and the last is MMS. Okay. Uh, the LP data is laser profiler. Uh, it's take by airplane with laser scanner. Density is 16 point or more per square meter. Uh, second way is airborne laser bathymetry called ALB data. It's uh, taken from air, but using so-called green laser, it can take coast and shallow underwater topography. No, we, uh, so without uh, RGB data. The other is mobile mapping system called MMS data. It's taken road and surrounding natural features uh, from laser scanner on the vehicle. The density is 400 point or more per square meter. Okay. Um, so speaking of uh, LP data, uh, there are two types of data uh, published. One is uh, called DSM. Uh, it's shown digital surface, including construction, tree, house, and so on. It's same as aerial photographic survey. The other is DTM, uh, so, uh, digital terrarium model. Since it is used last pulse, shown this uh, blue showing this blue line. Uh, so uh, it's not including house or trees and so on. It's like a kind of uh, digital elevation model. So there are four, finally, four types of data are published, uh, DSM, DTM, and ALB, and MMS. Uh, this data has been published as open data on the website. We open whole prefecture data. Its uh, license is CCBY and Audible. Everyone can use free. And uh, websites are separated by LP and LB and MMS. So please uh, choose specific one uh, that you, you want. Uh, the URL is here. Okay, uh, thanks to open data, many people use a lot of ways, including that we didn't expect it. I, I would like to show you some of use case from them. Okay, uh, first let's start with introducing the example of academic field. Okay, this case uh, using DTM data in historical field. Uh, this mountain looks like normal bush, but uh, since uh, virtual Shizuoka was high density data, it helps archaeology. Uh, DDM data shows ground data and makes clear the ancient tomb uh, without cutting any trees. Uh, so high density is one of the great features of virtual Shizuoka. Okay, the other example on academic field is geography. 
This is aerial photograph of the coastline of Ito. This area consists with former lava flow, uh, which have erupted from Omuroyama volcano at like this. And this is, uh, this is LP data uh, showing lava flow in this area. But uh, we, didn't, we didn't know uh, what lava flow looks like in the ocean until taking data of underwater area. And uh, Bachelor Shizuka has ALB data, which means high density topography was taken in shallow underwater. Thanks to this, uh, lava flow underwater is observed. Uh, even this high density data shows a clock in this lava rope which shows that uh, it, cr it cracked uh, when lava flow flew into the ocean and cold rapidly. This is one of the new academic discovery by using virtual Shizuoka. Okay, next field is disaster management. Uh, this is a typical hazard map uh, showing tsunami inundation and its height. Because it is I mean, the old data is drawn on the map, uh, so people, some people hardly imaged what it looks like. So, okay, uh, this is a simulation model, a uh, simulation movie creating uh, with virtual Shizuoka and in foundation data. We are uh, now this area, uh, red point area, and uh, after 20 minutes, uh, tsunami wave are coming. Yeah, it's 20 minutes. Uh, 20, tsunami wave are coming and it passed back. Uh, it's back to the coast. And this is using 3D. Uh, so we show inundation area and inundation height and even area arrival time and it makes people easy to image tsunami arrival. Okay, most reported use case uh, for game. Uh, okay. This is the racing game, but not created by Japanese. Uh, a person in Spain sent us a message and she, he showed the game uh, whose field is in row that really existed in Shizuoka Prefecture. Using point cloud data uh, allow us to have a realistic simulation experience. Uh, the remarkable point is uh, when the car passed the joint of road, uh, the car is really hopping. And uh, actually, I used to uh, inspect this area uh, when I was in civil engineering office. So it, bright, uh, it brings me back memory. Uh, it brings back my memories. <laughs> yeah, I speak to uh, quickly. <laughs> So please enjoy the movie of the gaming. Uh, this data is uh, used uh, MMS data, so uh, it's very, uh, high density, so it, uh, it's rare, I think. And uh, I like the uh, last point. Ah, this is the edge of the uh, MMS data. Okay, so uh, this experience show us realistic simulation, which means everyone can get the same idea. 
the automation is one the one example we can use the same idea. Uh, since MMS data density is 400 point or more per square meter, as we can see, a realistic digital twin can be created. Uh, the map for automation is called dynamic maps. Uh, we created dynamic maps from MMS data. And now we are trying to do verification test of automation called Shizuoka Showcase Project with some uh, collaborators by uh, using uh, the dynamic maps. And not only automation, oh, oh sorry, uh, these are real movie which automated drive car is running in some area in Shizuoka Prefecture. Uh, we are now testing usefulness and taking challenges for taking uh, challenges for automation society. And oh, breaking news! Not only automation, Shizuoka Prefecture and uh, El Rasahi Corporation signed an agreement to use virtual Shizuoka for uh, EBTOL simulation oh, on a. August. Uh, this uh, concept is uh, the kind of uh, dynamic map is uh, for a uh, area uh, vehicle. Okay, uh, last use case for emergency response. In 2021, a uh, landslide occurred in Atami, the eastern part of Shizuoka Prefecture. I also participated in operation at uh, emergency operation center, and I also participated in a volunteering network using virtual Shizuoka to analysis disaster related information and provide intelligence quickly. The, the network was aiming that uh, quickly uh, grasping the disaster situation and to provide information to ensure safety during rescue activity, activities by using point cloud data. Uh, firstly, network team uh, detected the uh, epicenter uh, by comparing maps with the movie on SNS. Uh, as a result of uh, uh, comp uh, comparing, uh, we de determined the location of clubs. Uh, after this, we make the high density data made by virtual Shizuoka and it is provided to emergency operations center. And next step is comparing and uh, calculating the volume of uh, clubs. This is uh, before uh, this is uh, the before landslide data from virtual Shizuoka. It's open data. Oops. Uh -oh, oh, sorry, <laughs> sorry. Uh, okay. Uh -oh. uh oh. Oh oh. Please wait a minute. Yeah, no problem, <laughs> but maybe the network is a little bit weak. But yeah, please take time. Take your time. Yeah. Thank you. Uh. my macbook make noisy so i think mm -hmm. it's too heavy <laughs> ah, maybe not because of the point cloud <laughs> <laughs> sorry uh, okay <laughs> maybe we can take time for questions if uh <laughs> yeah, that's great any maybe, any yeah. question comments yeah. I'm really interested in the application for game development, and uh, I'd like to actually ask uh, some comment from Albert because you are a good game programmer, right? Do you have any comments, uh, Albert? Oh, I, I just mentioned that uh, mm -hmm. the height maps and DM are, is really useful for uh, mm -hmm. a lot of uh, game engine mm -hmm. um, 
and like city planning games mm -hmm. too. Mm -hmm. um, but point cloud, this is very new. So so looking yeah. at it, that's why I was asking uh, mm -hmm. what what the game studio or, uh -huh. or game name is because I think um, yes. th there's a lot of room for for not just um, game application uh, but like academic games <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, so especially with like um, drones that are able to go to remote locations mm -hmm. so I think that would be something worth looking into mm -hmm. oh because before uh, continuing your presentation do you have some information for Alphard? Um, the game engine no, so, such kind of thing uh, so, uh, mm -hmm. uh, sorry the uh please uh question again <laughs> oh, oh i was mm -hmm. just asking uh, if there's mm -hmm. a mm -hmm. um a, a, the name of the game or uh for the driving driving mm -hmm. game Definitely. or uh the uh, like engine that it was using ah uh, the name uh mm -hmm. i don't know but um sure uh sorry uh, i i I can ask now, uh, but uh, I think uh, he is just creating and uh, not published. I think that mm -hmm. oh. he sent uh, us the video of the game. So not the uh, whole uh, package of game, not just a movie of the game playing. Mm -hmm. So uh, sorry, uh, I'm afraid I don't know the name of the game uh, I showed. Uh, no problem. <laughs> Thank you. I I like the end where he crashed. <laughs> mm, yeah, 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 I also like it. <laughs> uh, it's the limit of the MMA theater. Mm -hmm. uh, so the car is uh, dropped down to the. <laughs> yeah. I, I think it makes a, a a good use case to have more open data, <laughs> more yeah. MMS data. <laughs> Okay. Okay. Yeah. Please okay. go ahead. Uh, there. Uh, okay. After detected the uh, epicenter of uh, collapse, uh, next step is comparing and calculation volume uh, of uh, collapse. And this is uh, open data, but uh, from but uh, runs uh, before run slide data from virtual Shizuoka, and this is open data, and this is the after one uh, taken by drone. Okay, uh, this is uh, before, and this is after. You can see uh, how it collapsed. And uh, comparing before and after data, uh, volume, volume can be uh, calculated. Not only this, but also uh, we are given high quality laser data from Geospatial Authority of Japan, uh, taken around 10 years ago, uh, we calculated both the volume of embankment and uh, during 10 years and the volume of collapsed. We can calculate both uh, data. And as a result, uh, this is an area which was raising 10, uh, for 10 years uh it's uh embankment and uh blue is the collapsed so a and b still remain and a is uh possibly uh collapsed uh so uh, usually this analysis takes two weeks uh or more by using a traditional way but we analyze only three days uh it is it is great uh, opportunity to show the importance of GIS on disaster management. And using this intelligence uh, extent extensive was installed in uh, that uh, a earlier to observe. So uh, rescue activities can be safe by observing uh, correctly. Okay. And uh, as you saw, uh, these are many use cases uh, thanks to publishing as open data. But uh, these use cases have specific feature of point cloud data these days. Uh, on the other hand, these features are challenges for our program, uh, progress. Uh, 
this, uh, firstly, most uh, cases, uh, use cases, uh, point cloud data for uh, visualization, which means it will be enough to be a view of something or just looking, uh, but our analysis cases are still in progress. Uh, secondly, uh, people using point cloud data uh, have uh, skills and tend to have such high spec equipment as PC, uh, CPU, and GPU is high quality. Uh, certainly, data are huge. Uh, we are looking forward to making establishment established way or apps to use it easily. Uh, we are thinking uh, 3D data is on the way to uh, establish technology. In virtual uh, in visualization, uh, there are a whole bunch of way to use virtual CISOC uh, these days. And uh, in analysis, we have to uh, convert to specific data at first, mainly uh, roster in G uh, when using GRS. If establishing technology to analyze, analyze 3D uh, directly, it's much, uh, it's much convenient for uh, lots of use cases. Okay, uh, and so uh, we think we are uh, opening magnificent uh, experiment field uh, of every geospatial information users because uh, we are administration should open as well as we have. We know virtual Shizuoka is, uh, that data is huge, but uh, we're not considered about flowing because uh, the flowing is not a government field, we think. Uh, but by, by opening a uh, whole data, we have the technology will update and it will lead more participants and increase the number of use cases, uh, we believe. Okay. Uh, finally, I would like to introduce the example that our point cloud data and its use case, a uh, use way would be standard. Uh, if it will be standard, the people in the world use data openly and a uh, specific uh, way. The one concept is emergency emergency response on which the sun never sets. Uh, if a disaster happen, in, uh, this concept is like uh, if a disaster happen in Japan, uh, stakeholders in Japan have to operate and human resources uh, would be shortage. But uh, after disaster occurred, the data should taken before the sunset. Uh, these data are sent to Europe, where the work time start. And uh, in Europe, uh, shaping the data from both, bef uh, both before and after and while a uh, Japan rescue team sleep for tomorrow. And after new dates has also come in United States, uh, the data sh shaping in Europe will send to United States and are not analyzed. It would be the useful data for rescue team in Japan. At 6 a.m. Japan, emergency operator could take rest and take the data from United States. And like this, if standard is development, sh uh, sharing operation make it much more efficient. Uh, we are looking forward to develop the standard by using virtual Shizuoka in the future. Uh -oh. Okay, this presentation is over. Thank you for listening. Thank you. Okay, thank you very much, Kaz, for your great presentation. Yes, it has a lot of uh, information and uh, 
inspires me a lot. So we have about 20 minutes uh, before closing this session. So I would like to welcome any comments, questions uh, from the audience. Please uh, raise your hand if you can. And uh, yeah, yeah, do you have any questions? Because so I have uh, some, yeah, maybe yeah, for me, the idea of uh, collaborating uh, with uh, overseas uh, institution is a very uh, exciting idea. And uh, so, because do you have any possible idea we can implement uh, that idea? Implement the idea? Yeah, yeah. So, <laughs> because Maybe I, I know there is some uh, great uh, uh, LIDAR program uh, from other countries, but uh, maybe for disaster response, uh, maybe we can think about how we can implement. And maybe maybe we can ask uh, Tai Chi uh, because he may have some idea, but uh, Kazu, do you have some uh, possible idea uh, as a person or as, as uh, your prefecture? Sorry, uh, the question is... Ah, yeah, my question is, uh, so you introduced some idea that uh, we can make use of the time difference. So yeah, imagine it's a response. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, maybe it's, yeah. And uh, yeah, my uh, question, uh, what is my question? My question is how should we make network of many um, experts uh, uh, who are uh, cap capable of uh, working with this kind of rider data and collaborate with each other? Uh, I think it's a huge uh, challenge mm -hmm. <laughs> to uh, make it uh, mm -hmm. real. Uh, and, uh, in, uh, speaking of in mm -hmm. uh, our prefecture, uh, mm -hmm. Uh, Department of Transportation and uh, Civil Engineering and mm -hmm. Emergency, uh, sorry, actually, Crisis Management Department. Uh -huh. and we uh, try to uh, uh, increase uh, mm -hmm. the member to use uh, GIS. Mm -hmm. Great. So uh, if people know uh, what can do uh, and do uh, how to do and mm -hmm. which data is uh, needed uh, mm -hmm. the participant uh, would be increased mm -hmm. and uh, yeah, yeah. same way uh, mm -hmm. the, firstly the uh, uh, using popular uh, GIS population uh, mm -hmm. Is required to expand the whole the world, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and uh, the and also the um, emergency operator in the world is uh, ah sorry emergency operator in the mm -hmm. whole world mm -hmm. should know the uh, this type of uh, mm -hmm. response. Mm -hmm. Uh, can be done, yeah, yeah. But uh, your uh, your question is a uh, big uh, challenge. Mm -hmm. uh, I also think. Okay. Yeah. Thank you very much for your idea. I also had thought about uh, that kind of opportunity because I was also working for the working group on disaster uh, under the UN uh, mm -hmm. GGIM, and uh, yes, so I see uh, there is some space we can collaborate. And uh, I see some point, uh, maybe the networking of the uh, experts are really important. Okay, yeah, thank you very much. And uh, yeah, I would like to take questions from the participant. So Albert, do you have some questions or ideas? Uh, or I have anything? one question. Uh, yeah, how frequent, um, for, for everybody who um, is maybe, uh, not working in government <laughs> and maybe private company or uh, 
like other agency. Um, the question is how how frequently do you take mm -hmm. um, the data? Because I think um, acquiring the data, like out, out of the three um, methods that you discussed, uh, I think the aerial, um, like airplane laser um, mm -hmm. photo, the ABS, and then the MMS, um, which one is maybe the easiest to do or most frequent? And um, like, how how can other people <laughs> uh, maybe, uh, well, which one do you recommend uh, starting with or adopting first if, if you were to do so? In, in my opinion, just mm. in my opinion, uh, the MMS data uh, is uh, convenient to take, I think, because uh, only the bigger is running, a bigger on, on uh, with a uh, razor is running uh, around the road. So MMS data is uh, most uh, frequent uh, way to uh, take a point cloud data, I guess. Um, but uh, the frequency is not a uh, I don't. I don't know uh, how frequent to uh, recover the, uh, these data. So, uh, Albert, do you know? Do you want to know the frequency of the uh, new the data? Uh, well, because I was thinking when you showed the um, the landslide, uh, I think the photo, the image that you had, the point cloud was two thousand and nineteen, right? So I was wondering, like, you know, um, out of these me measurement methods, it, it seems like the MMS might be the most frequent. <laughs> um, but I just wanted to know, like, um, like what what is uh, the the barrier for people to like use this um, each of these tools? Um, because I think that like uh, measurement density, it shows here that there's um, much more accuracy. With like the um, you know AL, ALP and AALB than the MMS, but um, there's always a trade-off between accuracy mm -hmm. and how easy it is to to uh, do, right? <laughs> so yeah, that's that's kind of my question. Uh, these three uh, types uh, is only uh, I mean the uh, how to take the batches is okay. So. Uh, not only uh, not only three ways uh just uh in uh, disaster response uh the data was taken by drone with a uh, laser scanner so uh i think uh a lot of ways to take but uh to uh, a lot of ways to take the data, but uh, I, I guess, but the control is, uh, uh, we need to control uh, measurement density is required, I think. So well, a follow-up question then is, uh, if someone was to try to do a virtual Tokyo <laughs> or, or something, uh, do you recommend uh, just like maybe Tai Chi can talk about this, but um, do you recommend using drone as like the first um, first pass? <laughs> uh, and uh, how I guess do you have like a, a working method to um, implement uh, you know just starting out this process? Because I think uh, it can be used in many many different situations um, in, in different parts of Japan and the world. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a difficult question. Mm. Um, mm. How, how do you think uh, in other day of Japan, <laughs> other day of geospatial in Japan? <laughs> oh, excuse me, what? Sorry, uh, could you repeat your question? Uh, how, uh, how do you think about it in uh, as a member of geospatial uh, mm -hmm. authority in Japan? Mm -hmm. So, 
the question is uh, how how was the how? sorry i couldn't catch the point uh, oh okay I'll, I'll rephrase uh, i guess my question is yes, please, please. How, how easy would it be to um like replicate this process um, in other parts of japan and um, the world with uh, starting with drones, maybe, or, or like, you know, moving, moving to okay, okay. the LB MMS L AOB system, because I think um, the, the mm -hmm. CCAN um, open data model is really good, <laughs> mm -hmm. but uh, getting the data is, is hard, perhaps, maybe. Okay, so we are talking yeah. about a data acquisition, and uh, maybe, yes, of yes. course, data acquisition takes some cost, and uh, so I, as a yeah, I'd like to say that uh, in Japan, we have a great private companies who are, are providing data acquisition service as a yeah, subcontracted service. And so I think if we have uh, enough budget, it is relatively easier uh, for the local government uh, or national government in Japan uh, to purchase uh, the acquisition service. But yeah, of course, uh, the budget is always a problem, but uh, in the case of uh, expanding our practice uh, outside of Japan, maybe we need to think about uh, the, how we can implement uh, the dissemination of the acquisition technology or acquisition service, uh, and that can be a, a bigger problem. But maybe, yeah, of course, uh, we can at first start from uh, what we can, and I see I see a great idea from Kazu about the experiment field. I see that is a great idea. So we can start uh, from where we can do something and we can expand our practice uh, by showing the value of uh, acquisition, acquisitioning the data and uh, making good application from the data. So yeah, yeah. Yeah, as I can say, it's a difficult question, but maybe I we have a lot of things we can do, uh, maybe in a collaborative manner. So that is uh, what I see uh, from your question. Thank you. So, Kaz, do you have something uh, you can add? Uh, yeah, uh, I think uh, what we can do is just uh, uh, taking and uh, provide open data. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, after this, uh, the process after this is. Uh, that uh, we can uh, uh, not not uh, sh mm -hmm. we shouldn't uh, uh, touch uh, as well as possible because uh, mm -hmm. uh, we are just uh, mm -hmm. administration. Mm -hmm. so, uh, the uh, providing the data is mm -hmm. uh, required and. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, Process uh, uh, dealing uh, the uh, analysis or uh, viewing is uh, private company. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You mean we should uh, provide raw data mm -hmm. and uh, the source data without uh, restrict or restricting the possibility of the data. And we pro uh, focus on the providing data and yeah, we should ask uh, the community to make use of the data. Yeah, I, I agree with you. Yeah, that's a great idea. Okay, Albert, please. Uh, one thing I think would be great too is if you could also provide a service. Um, so uh, maybe I, I kind of want to pick on Tai Chi for this, but um, using the open drone map, um, obviously, yeah. I think to, to run it locally takes some resources. Mm -hmm. So um, maybe um, if we can think about, or if anyone has any ideas on mm -hmm. how to use, because I know um, people at UCLA um, that want and have tried to use uh, open drone map, but mm -hmm. it's um, still not so simple to implement uh, with like, you know, you need to have a, all these uh, server Docker container, mm -hmm. um, things like that. So um, yeah, I, I think having a workflow from uh, point cloud starting somewhere with drones, because I think the MMS and drones are very low barrier mm -hmm. to start with. Yeah. Um, yes. But um, any any thoughts? Tai Chi. <laughs> <laughs> I understand it's difficult for because that's about Tai Chi. Do you, are you possible to talk? Uh, make some comment. Or Kaz, if you have otherwise, any we comments too. Uh, yeah. Do you have Kaz or Tai Chi? <laughs> okay. 
maybe we can discuss uh, separately about the possibility of uh, making use of the drone, open drone process. So, so, and I need to manage the time. So if I may, I'd like to move on to the next uh, agenda item. So, but before that, uh, yeah. Thank you very much, Kazu, uh, for introducing the Virtual Shizuoka project, uh, project. Thank you so much. Oh, thank you. Okay. So, yeah, I have one agenda item uh, we need to discuss uh, that is about uh, the facilitation of this uh, meeting, this monthly meeting. So, this is a five, fifth time uh, uh, we have uh, conducted the meeting. And uh, on, well, yeah, maybe two days ago, uh, yeah, we discussed, uh, hi, Taiji, we discussed. Uh, Face to face with uh, Taro and Yuseki and Albert, and uh, on uh, face to face, and we found that uh, Albert is uh, really good at facilitating the meeting because of his professional job in UCLA. So I would like to uh, propose that uh, we would like to ask uh, Albert to take the lead of this monthly uh, meetup, uh, if. Uh, and I, I believe that uh, it would uh, make the quality of this meetup uh, far better. So I would like to ask uh, your input and uh, yeah, do you have any, some idea? Or maybe first I would like to ask some comment from Albert about this idea. Albert? Oh, uh, thank you so much. Uh, it would be an honor, um, but I really want to make sure that Mm -hmm. um, if other people want to facilitate, um, to mm -hmm. co-facilitate, um, please, I, I would welcome that as well. Um, because uh, it, it's it's collaboration makes yes. like open open source, mm -hmm. <laughs> open community, I think um, having more opportunity to um, uh, contribute is, is welcome. Yeah. Um, so yeah, and, and the other thing too is uh, with facilitation, um, mm -hmm. I definitely want to make note that it's facilitating the meeting, not mm -hmm. leading the the group. <laughs> mm -hmm. So, so I will not make decision. <laughs> I will only um, allow and um, help for people to contribute. Mm -hmm. um, so that that's something I want to uh, clearly. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, thank you very much. Uh, make make that. yeah, absolutely. So thank you very much again, uh, Arbat, for uh, uh, sharing with us the point. And maybe we can discuss uh, on GitHub about how we can facilitate. Maybe we can have some more co-facilitator. And uh, yes, I would like to also talk about uh, the guest uh, speakers for the next time. Uh, my idea is that maybe it's time for the California uh, to uh, introduce uh, something. So. If I may, I'd like to ask Albert uh, to uh, try to find uh, some uh, possible guest speaker for the next meetup. Uh, first, I'd like to ask Albert about your opinion. Uh, yes, I, I think uh, I um, was talking with a couple people and mm -hmm. I, I do have someone lined mm -hmm. up for, uh, I think it's a, a great follow from uh, Cousin's presentation yes. of um, mobility, uh, mm -hmm. open data for um, mobility and transportation. Um, so um, it's, I think would be a great uh, mm -hmm. space to also bring in more people related to um, that field of um, uh, yeah, transportation. Thing. Okay, thank you so much. So I have three more minutes and I see Taro uh, was, so has lived, but that's so I would like to ask Taiji, uh, are you possible to talk uh, for us? I would like to ask your comments, anything? Yes, so, uh, so my comment is so, uh, yeah, thank you for the great presentation. So my comment is, uh, so virtual Shizuoka uh, made by the Shizuoka prefecture that uh, maybe so uh, they mentioned about the, uh, the collaboration with the another uh, local government side for example so you know maybe uh, Shizuoka prefecture the Tokyo uh, metropolitan uh, government side uh, collaborating with the data platform uh, mm -hmm. so you have the uh, Tokyo Digital Twin um, mm -hmm. data, uh, Twin, twin uh, Project. 
and uh, the matter she's all the data is uh, uh, the, what is that sharing mm -hmm. uh, uh, some uh, compatible uh, data platform maybe uh, do you have the, some uh, other another uh, prefecture uh, idea or already uh, ongoing that uh, how some uh, the projects uh, if you have the recent project or idea so could you could you share your idea or, or secret or <laughs> yeah cousin, please uh, uh, the question is uh, that uh, the, the project uh, of, uh, by Shizuoka prefecture yes yes ah uh, okay so uh, another uh, we uh, to answer from uh, Ryo Taishibashi, I, I guess. Shibashi. さん。すみません。声だけの参加でちょっとカメラついてないんで、ちょっとなんか発表ありがとうございました。あの、はい。パーチャルシーゾーカの関係で今発表していないような別のなんかプロジェクトはありますか <笑>いや、メリーインディスウィークの長崎にいるプロジェクトがあの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あ